Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Star Wars Empire or Fall of the Republic. Uh, in the last episode, we kind of started re-solidifying the Inner Rim. We took Cardia, we took Chandrilla, uh, and we're thinking about taking Kamas, although it looks very stacked. Um, and... Maybe starting to push out into the Outer Rim more. So, our first plan is to uh, build a few ground ships and stuff like that. Because we have a lot of things. We have the, we got the Kuat Drive Yard, so everything's like really cheap in some places. Yeah, it's right here yeah um it also gives us uh cheap uh stuff on th on ships too so i was thinking about saving for the star dreadnought uh the mandatory class which is really really good we have come all surrounded but for all we know, the, this 10 is a freaking, is their freaking Mark II bulwark ships. So what we're going to do is we have Bothawi here. We have a few ships at Bothawi, uh, including our super ship. We're going to take our super ship, and you know exactly what we're doing with it. Admiral Yuloran is going to be the single strongest figure in this Star Wars galaxy. I don't even think we need a fleet like that. But you know what? We're going to make it. Because why not? Alright, production. We get two Articuns light cruisers if we build two Golan ones. Cool, didn't ask. Uh, we also, I was also thinking about starting to get the Victory Initiative, uh, which is pretty good. We can get that at Kua, it's 13k. And then Victory 2 is 15k. And then Research External Racks, which is, um, TIE Fighters, pretty much. Yeah. Completing this research option equips Carex and Dreadnought Heavy Cruisers with External Racks for additional fighters. So, in other words, it just gives us more fighters. I want to stop lagging, please. Alright. We're simming through a few of these weeks. The independent forces are literally just dealing with the separatists for me. Uh, Admiral Yulorn's a uh, new friend is here, nearly. There it is. All right, we're gonna put in a little Corvette at Scout Ship and for Roast. This is gonna be the biggest battle of the Clone Wars possibly. Oh, Cardia. Admiral Dio. Yeah, look at what they have. Foros is one of their strongest shipyards. I'm gonna look at what they have, and then I'll decide. Because if they have like five Golons there, which they won't, because you can only have a maximum of three. I know they have a Dreadnought shipyard. What do they have? A lot. They have a Golon, and then the Dreadnought Shipyard. They don't, however, have Interdiction Mines. Admiral Yuloran. This is your true test of power. <laughs> 
We're bringing in some light cruisers. We're bringing in the acclimators. I'm going to bring in some Pelta class and Corvettes. I don't have enough space for any acclimators now, which means we'll have extra reinforcements. Here we go. Defenses, uh, defensive units, or defensive tactics, uh, attack. Fighters, come on out, we need our fighters here. Admiral Yularen is literally spearheading the assault. Yes, let's go. I don't even think they have an ion cannon here. That's Feroz down there. They don't have an ion cannon. This is actually takeable. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the reinforcements they're getting. They got a Providence as reinforcements. We can't call in any reinforcements yet, which is a very good sign. Meaning none of our ships have yet been have yet to be downed. Uh, I'm gonna bring our little Corvette up. It's not gonna do much, but eh. They outnumber us in fighters. But we outnumber them in overall just power. <laughs> Actually, let's shoot some of these things, because we know their providences are going to be a, a big amount of problems. Uh, so, yeah, redirect all your missiles, just light this thing up. We have our super ship. This is what super ships are, like, pretty much built for. It. Attack. Uh, the Providence is nearly dead. And... Yeah, it's pretty much gone. I want to see him retreat, because I know if they retreat from Feroz, they're screwed. Yeah, Capital Shipyard. They can literally get... Uh, Providence Carrier as reinforcements. They already did get one, actually. Uh, set them ablaze. Keep setting them ablaze. Our super ship is almost lost shields, but they're losing weapons now. Uh, they're losing their gun. They're losing their. They're losing their ships. If we're being real. The, um... They're still pouring out heavy fire. But... They just lost the Munificent class. And then if we destroy this battle carrier, it's over for them. The biggest battle... Of the war. And look, see, now that we've lost some ships, we can just bring in another one. That's what's so nice about having all this space, or all this big fleet. Our little corvette is finally entering the fray. And our uh, new support frigates here. Oh, they just called in reinforcements too. They have a lot more than we realized. Okay, fleet tender. Yeah, once this... Th uh... This little ship is their, this big ship here is their main guns. Once that ship goes down, it's over for them. Just keep attacking them. Yes. They're losing guns on their biggest ship. Now, once we destroy it, they're still going to be pouring a lot of fire into us. But, the fact that they're losing their strongest ship in this fleet currently is big news. 
Now boost shield regen for the cost of a, like literally like two weapon power. <laughs> oh, something just blew up. I think it was an acclimator. We're bringing another one in. It was an acclimator. It looked like an acclimator in a Corvette. Possibly. Look at the reinforcements. The fact that Admiral Ular is still alive though is pretty big. Um. Yeah, our losses are starting to rise a little bit. But. We're good. We're good right now. We're good until uh, our super ship starts dying, pretty much. Uh, once this tanky ship goes down, we just full-fledged just slap their little ships. I'm, I'm bringing in another Corvette. I'm gonna do it. Just full-fledged freaking slap their little ships. Just slap stuff. Slap everything. Destroy it all. Admiral Yularen's taking a lot of damage. It's okay. Uh, if Admiral, as long as Admiral Yularen doesn't die... It's like, he could get down to literally 1% engines. If he does, as long as he doesn't die, we're good. Whoa, what just exploded? A Venator exploded. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> we just lost a Venator. Here's our reinforcements coming in. An Acclimator and two light cruisers. Uh, I might actually call a retreat here and make a second attack. As much as I hate to say it. Yeah, I'm going to. We're sustaining too much losses. Too many losses. Four, three, two. Uh, yeah, we'll make it out. Yep, we got it. We're really hurt. Uh... I think, yeah, I think, uh, the loss is overall. That's their, that's the scary part of what they have. Uh. Overall, just knowing that they have, uh, we need Venators. We need, oh, crap, I got the wrong thing. Let's go after Volpter again. I want this, uh, yeah, look, the independent forces are conquering. They're, uh, they're literally rebelling against the separatists. If the Furrows fleet appears at Volker, okay, we're good. That's what we wanted to flip and see. All right. I don't know if we still have a scout ship. We don't, but we have this fleet. And guess what I'm gonna do, cause I'm that mean, introduction mines. <laughs> Yep. No retreatsies for you. And look at all of our fighters. I'm actually going to... Oh, we can't bring in the rest of our acclimators. I could probably, like, emergency retreat this Carrot Cruiser. Carrot. I feel like I always accidentally say carrot. It's not carrot, it's carrick. With a K. 
or CK actually. Yeah. Super ships destroy. I feel like the super ships are made for like sieging and like being a tank, like uh, attacking planets and stuff. Uh, but I feel like I use it for skirmishes a lot. It's like it's not made for skirmishes, it's used for slapping like a big capital ship or shipyard. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit weapon power boost. Bro, imagine if the uh, Praetor had weapon boost weapons. <laughs> I really wish that Venator didn't go down. This is gonna cost you a lot of money though right here. Come on, Seppies. Yeah, we just need a lot more Venators, and then when we can't afford Venators, we need to only hit Corvette, only use Corvettes. Because <laughs> that's pretty much what works. Uh, laying their fire in. Gonna hit full salvo. Is still trying to retreat. <laughs> yeah. This is a W. <laughs> the fact that they're not dead yet, I can't understand. Just light the thing up. You have like 30 batteries, attack each gun with like 3 batteries and you'll destroy it in no time. Our fighters are dying still. <laughs> there you go, they ran out of guns. Now none of our ships are taking any fire anymore. So blow them up! <laughs> yeah. 15 medium turbo lasers. 26 heavy dual laser cannons, 18 medium quad laser cannons. It's like, are you kidding me? How is, like, anything short of either a fleet of Venators or a super ship supposed to destroy that? That literally is the super ship of the, um... That literally is their super ship. Except it's not. It's not as expensive as their super ship. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna be dirty and send my administrator person down to Kuat. That way everything at Kuat is like super cheap. <laughs> Cause Kuat's a dreadnought shipyard. Yep, there we go. And now, yeah. Minus 25% all. Yep, all of that's good. Uh, yeah, everything's cheap again. If I bring them into space, does that help anything? No, it only uh, helps the ground troops. Okay, well, I guess it's okay, because now I can build... Uh, tanks and stuff easier. We're gonna build some commandos, arc troopers, defense droids. Uh, we'll build some artillery. And yes. We'll take, um, we'll like literally take like everything out of Kuat because honestly we don't need it. <laughs> Kuat is safe. 
And let's see, they have a lot there, don't they? They don't. Sweet. We lost the battle, but we destroyed a lot. And for some reason, our fleet split. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to send reinforcements from Alderaan. And I'm going to fight at this gun because I want to see what they have. <laughs> Come on. Let me see. Let me see it. Okay. Vulpter has a victory point. Blam and blam. You have stuff in places. Abandoned vehicle factory. We need that. How's an abandoned sensory way? We get, what, pings? I don't know. What, do we get to, like, sensor ping them or something? <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. Here. Let's go. Look for it. Um, uh, sprint with literally all of our soldiers, because all of our soldiers can sprint. Even our light vehicles. So I'm capturing this, uh, this thing up here. The sensor array. Oh, it's all right. That's cool. And then what's this thing? A factory? That would be a factory. Huh. So did we capture the sensor array? All right. Yeah. How about this? We're gonna, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna sensor ping like their entire area over here. They have a barracks and a corporate headquarters. Alright, sweet. They have no soldiers up there. Which is sad, but... At the same time, we know they're leaving that area unguarded. Let's go. There's a droid to go over there. There would be a droid to go over there. Things not slick. Stop attacking the ground. Get to an area where you can actually use your weapons. And while I'm here, I'm going to build a turret, because why not? Build a turret. Okay. Yes, there we go. Take cover, take cover, take cover, take cover, take cover. And shoot that thing. Yeah, I don't care what they have. I don't want anything to do with that. Oh, bombing run, bombing run, bombing run, bombing run. Uh, initiate bombing run. When? I want to do it now. I'd much rather destroy all their stuff. Okay. Uh, sensor ping. This area nearby. They would have droids there. Dang it. I need to... No, I need to not do that. They have stuff in... They have stuff everywhere. Okay. Arc Troopers. Uh, run over and EMP burst. Okay, I don't, I, oh uh, yeah, this isn't working. This isn't working. Okay, sensor ping, hit that. Now bombing run. Oh, it actually might be going, it might actually might hit both. 
It's actually possible. Stop them from destroying our things. Oh, there's the bombers. Okay, yeah, here. Shoot the droidica, shoot the droids. What did we destroy? Did we destroy a good amount of stuff? Yes, we destroyed both of their reinfor uh their barracks and infrastructure. In other words, we took all of their stuff. We destroyed every all everything. So once we destroy the um Oh there's a power generator up there. Mm. Sensor array uh, go ahead and ping that thing. Ping editing that thing. Do they have like a uh, structure or something? I don't know. What could they possibly have? Okay, yeah, attack that. Th attack the stab speeders. I said attack the stab speeders. Apparently, they're not attacking the stab speeders. How are they still gaining reinforcements? They were, like, supposed to not have anything. Okay, no. Stay there. Take our sensor ping. Ping that thing. And destroy that power generator. Yeah. Enhances ground turrets and pa okay, nice. So pretty much their turrets and stuff don't have as much power now, so that's great. I don't know if it actually like shuts down the droids, but I know it uh, shuts down like their turrets and stuff, so their turrets don't get as good, aren't as good. This is the uh, abandoned vehicle factory, I think. So we'll get some garbage, uh, stuff if we come over to it. <laughs> oh yeah, look, the turrets, like, suck now. They can't, can't even hit the turret. The turrets, like, can't even hit us from over there. Oh wait, actually, never mind, they can. Take over, take over, take over, take over. Oh yeah, just get the thing. Destroy it. Take cover. And flamethrower destroy it. Nice. Can we like go ahead and capture this structure now? Here, I'm gonna. Should I build a back tank? I don't even really need a back to tank, do I? I guess I'll build a back to tank. Why not? Better than losing. Uh some soldiers oh it, I can't even capture this oh here uh sensor ping hit uh hit this thing right here okay their point is like literally I'm gonna bomb you on a turret because I'm that mean It's like, I'm gonna bomb you around a turret solely to be a jerk. <laughs> Alright, blow it up. Oh, that's an anti-air turret. Well, hey, they don't have any turrets now. That's for sure. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! Okay, well... We lost some soldiers, unfortunately. What do they still have? Yeah, here, attack that thing. Uh, 
Sensor ping, where are you? Sensor ping. See what's over here. Turret and a turret, okay. Garbage, pretty much, for them. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just auto-resolve it. Yeah, that was kind of expected. But, we destroyed all their factories, so they're gonna have, like, literally nothing. Hey, hey, hey. So, let's see, what do we have? Alderaan, ATT. It's pretty much all we need. ATT, head on over, and... Go ahead. I said go ahead. Oh, sweet. Yeah, see? All in a day's work. Enemy fleet's about to invade Alderaan. Yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> Ain't nobody invading Alderaan. Let's look at what we have. Our food supplies is five. Our industrial supplies is 12, so we need food and industrial supplies. Agriport food. Uh, Agriport industrial parts. And... Could make a tax collection agency, but I'm not going to. I'm going to make it here. Uh, Chandrilla. And then I'm going to make a barracks here as well. Alderaan, hello, I'm waiting. You get, you're not gonna attack Alderaan? Fine, I'm gonna attack Randilly. Haha. -ha. Oh, they actually have stuff here. Well, whatever, it's no match for Admiral Yularen. <laughs> I love Admiral Yularen, you guys. And in, since we've actually uh, put the super ship in his fleet, the super ship's actually been doing good and not getting slapped. Corellia, oh yeah, Corellia's a capital shipyard. Wonderful. It's okay though, because we have our Giga Chad Admiral, Yulorn. Oh my gosh. And we're going to bring in our, we didn't bring in a single Corvette. We brought in a fleet tender and that was literally it. Because apparently it's not Pelta class frigates anymore. Apparently now it's like, it has to be these galleon class frigates. Immediately, we're going to hit a uh, defensive tactics because it's good and we're gonna get our fighters and which has more health that one actually and we're gonna start attacking their weapon their guns with uh missile launchers and do we have ARC 170s? We do. Sensor jam, because why not? And I have not hit boost weapon power yet, so I'm going to now. And now we light up uh, their province class. Because their, concu their assault concussion missiles, missiles will fall. We're gonna we're gonna cost these seppies a lot of money. I know Corelli is a capital shipyard though, so uh they're gonna get some decent reinforcements. Let's go ahead and slap. Finish up slapping up this guy, and then we're gonna have to somehow deal a lot of damage, like over 40,000 damage to this ship. 
Uh, we lost an acclimator. Bring in some little frigates and corvettes. Um, yeah, let's like shoot this thing, please. Uh, we just lost another ship, didn't we? No, we didn't. But things are blowing up. I want to auto resolve, but I feel like if I auto resolve, we're just going to lose everything because it's a capital shipyard. I feel like I'm going to destroy this ship and then auto resolve because it's not as strong. There they go. There goes all their guns. Destroy their guns. We need to destroy as many of these battle carries as we can and cost the Separatists as much money as we can. Because if we're being honest, that's kind of the downfall of us right now. Boost power to weapons. I, uh, we kind of hit a lot of their fighters because we forgot to select our corvettes. Uh, and to, like, organize our corvettes into our battle group, so... Here's you, Lauren, over here. He's tanking some shots. Oh, we're gonna lose another acclimator, aren't we? Might even lose more. These battle carriers are so strong. Because it's like, you're always so focused on them, and then they have, like, their other ships that are just, like, meanwhile... I want... Uh, to fleet tender. Once this ship goes down, though, they're dead. Actually, Admiral Yularen, come over here. Where you're not taking it up. Admiral Yularen! No! Admiral Yularen! He's taken some... He's taken some, uh, damage, actually. Yeah, we're gonna bring him kind of behind the super ship. away from all of these things over here. <laughs> yeah. Bring bring in uh, ships. Protect Admiral Yularen. And here we go. Here it goes. Boom! Oh, I love seeing those explosions. Alright, you can retreat now. I don't care, I'm gonna destroy all your reinforcements before I auto resolve to make sure we don't lose anything good. Honestly, it's pro it's probably still gonna say like you've lost the battle for being real. I'm gonna go ahead and hunt fighters and just kinda let our ships go off how they want to. I'm definitely gonna boost shield power, uh, defensive tactics. Because Admiral Yularen kind of needs it right now. Uh. Yes. Admiral Yularen. Uh. Was very, once again, very, very strong in this fight. He kind of got, uh, owned, if we're being honest. But he was strong. Can't deny it. We let our fighters go off for a little bit. Uh, I'm going to keep letting them go off uh, as our guns continue. As our mass firepower continues to light up their ships. Uh, we're going to let our fighters keep scrambling while our bigger ships are now attacking the, um, are now set to attack the post, the trade post, but, uh, that has not happened yet because they're not in range, so they're just still kind of laying waste into these ships. Admiral Yularen, guys, protect Admiral Yularen, please. Admiral Yularen, no! 
Admiral, you aren't dead. No. Oh my gosh, we have to go on a rampage to avenge Admiral Yoran. Admiral Yoran, Admiral Yoran died in like the fifth battle of Corellia. Oh, that's sad. R.I.P. Admiral Yoran in the comments, everybody. He won us so many battles. Yeah, now we're just lighting up all their fighters. We gotta take Corellia back for Admiral Yularen. We might not do it this episode, but Corellia has to be taken back. Dang, man. Dang. Oh my gosh, I could've hit Fleet Tender. Of course I could've. Alright, we gotta go on a rampage for Admiral Yularen, everybody, for Admiral Yularen. <laughs> Bro, uh, these fighters are so annoying, we just lost our other Venator. I think, um, I'm gonna auto resolve now. We are victorious. We lost so many ships in this battle, but we they lost a lot too. But of course our biggest loss was the uh, Giga Chad Admiral. Admiral Yuloran, no! Okay. That's not even Corellia, that's Rendilly. Rendilly has a capital shipyard? What? Alright, now we're. Now we gotta take Corellia and Rendilly. But, not this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next episode. Peace out, gang.